Hello everyone, it's Vonic Zombie. Welcome back to House of a Thousand Doors Family Secrets. So, we opened up this kid's wardrobe over here, and that looks like a completely different world or another part of the, the house. Let me check on the volume right quick. Okay, I just wanted to um, check the volume because the music sounded pretty, pretty loud. Um, because what's going on right now is the music, the ambient noise, as well as the sound effects. Uh, so I didn't want the music to drown out my voice or make it sound like they were at the same level. I love how we have the tune from here going on and it's nice and lovely and cheery. And we still have the ambient noises of the screaming in the background. But let's get into this wardrobe. Is this Narnia? No, it's actual train! That's really cool! The train. When I opened the wardrobe, I found a portal leading to a passenger train. Unfortunately, it seems the train is going nowhere fast. I can't believe what I, what I see when I look through its windows. Is that purgatory? A parallel world? Or something else? None of this makes sense, but there must be a reason behind all of it. At this point, I would stop asking questions and just literally go along for the ride. Okay, so can we look out the windows? There's a vent here. Pull out the coin. Oh, I don't have a tool for that. Oh, he's cold. Another newspaper. Love and death. Kevin and Lisa got married five years ago. As the newlyweds boarded the train that would take them to their honeymoon destination, they were on cloud nine. Kevin wanted to, sh to shout his love for his bride to the whole world, so he opened the window to their cabin, leaned out, and opened his mouth to proclaim his feelings. However, he'd only say I love when a wire hanging from a pole severed his head. What was left of his body fell back into the cabin. Unable to bear the shock or the sorrow, Lisa spent the next five years in a mental asylum. This week, she died of a broken heart. Aww. I think I heard a similar story about that in real life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, pretty much, not so much like... I might have to turn down the sound effects as well. Uh, not so much like shouting love to the world, but like someone stuck their head out of a train and got decapitated. Cut the roof somehow. Don't have anything to cut. Have here. Do we go back and. Oh! This is lovely. There's another portrait. Ah, oh, there's a razor. Just grabbing all the things. Okay, so again, like, uh, she has commentary for everything. And this is pretty much the lore of the story. Like, this belongs to the train story, likes to play cards. So, like I said, I haven't been clicking on stuff. Uh, because that would mean a lot of reading and not so much progress. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this needs a code. Missing coins. Yeah, this coin. Now I just need one more. Okay. Add something to the fuse box. Ooh. Wedding glasses, candles, champagne. Those are for the newlyweds. Ah, oh, so this was their cabin. Is that just a bit of lore? That might just be for lore's sake. I don't think we can actually interact with this. Okay. Need a key. But we can cut that now. Oh.
Window is cracked. How did that happen? Is that blood? Boiler handle. Okay. Okay, that's the newspaper article. Ah, well there's the boiler. There's another portrait. I suppose that's the engineer, but where's everyone else? Am I the only one on this train? Okay. okay. Need to clean all the coal dust. Might be instructions under that can help me stop this train. Okay. Stack all the logs on the shelf on the left. To move a log, click and drag it where you want to place it, and then click it again to drop it. Okay. There we go. Boiler handle. Something here. Heat to soften it up. We have a lighter. No, that's not gonna work. Okay. There we go. Ah, hit an object scene. Okay. Oh, oh, there it was. Okay. Okay, we have tweezers. Okay, so now we can pick out um that coin. I also turned down the volume for um, the sound effects as well because those got pretty loud as well. Okay, so we have both of the coins to complete the little puzzle. Need to put the missing coins on the dial. Okay. Oh, okay, but move each coin to its corresponding slot to move the coins. Click the arrows. Click on the arrows. Hint. Think of the numbers on a clock face. Okay. This will take a while. We go okay not as difficult as I thought just took a while okay what's in here keys it's the only key I need okay well they all have number seven on them that needs a code that needs a special part Anything here? No, okay. See, I think they're just parts of this game that just add to the lore. You know, scenes like this that, uh, from reading the um, newspaper, that you know this is where the guy got his head chopped off. That's where the guy got his head chopped off. Please help me. 
Help me to escape this nightmare. I've been traveling in this cabin for what feels like forever. Kevin is waiting for me, but I can't leave the train. Please stop this train so I can get off and meet my husband. Yep, definitely part of the lore. Okay. Ah, we didn't read about the <clears throat> newspaper on the train. Newspaper on the train. Kevin and Lisa got married five years ago. As the newlyweds boarded the train that would take them... Oh, this is just saying the same thing the article did. It goes on the train. I met another ghost. Poor woman. She's been on this train for ages. How does she come to be in this imaginary realm? Through the house? I must help her by stopping this train. Patient Lisa Hawthorne suffers from hypochondria and psychopathy caused by the loss of a loved one. Complains of nightmares in which she sees a ghost train. If I wrote the note with a piece of coal, I'd be able to see the rest of the writing. Here we go. According to the patient, her husband was. Oh, according to the patient, her husband is waiting for her on the platform of Paradise Station, but she can't get off the train. Treatment: morphia and galvanocratria. Okay, I am going to look up that word right now. I probably won't like what I see. And we have the code at the bottom there. Okay, so I'm back, and yeah, um, Galvano, Car uh, Galvano Cartry, uh, I know I'm butchering that word, but the long and short of it, it is medical treatment with electricity. Um, yeah, so that was not pleasant to look up. But we have a code 4082. I am so sorry you went through that, ma'am. We have stuff here to look at. Zipper slider. Don't have that. Ooh. Some of the cracked window and more blood. Is that where Kevin died? I definitely suspect so. Panels are rusted shut. I need oil them so I can open the window. Don't have oil. We have a light bulb for that. No power. Okay. Four zero eight two. Okay. Poor girl, she's trapped in this nightmare. I must stop this train. Okay. Four. Zero. Eight. Two. I see a broken typewriter, just a globe and a gun. I don't need a typewriter or a glow, and I don't like guns. I'm afraid to even touch them. That's lovely. Let's see. Okay, that appears to be it. Have a hex wrench. Looks like that's what could be used here. Ah! Can we restart the power? Arrange the wire so that they don't cross. To move a wire, click on a green point, release the mouse button, drag the point to a new node, and then click again. Okay. Don't cross the streams! Yay! Okay. Now I should have power. Just said it can turn on the lights in the next cabin. Turn on. Oh, switch. Okay. Okay. 
Yay! Okay, headed objects in. Search around her dress. That's a very pretty dress. Okay, there is a dove. Okay, we have the zipper slider. We can open the bag, but we will open the bag in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!